What is wormhole theory? Wormholes are hypothetical bridges through space-time. The wormhole theory hypothesizes that there could be a passage through space and time that could be used to get places faster. Wormholes are predicted by the theory of general relativity. Wormholes were first theorized in 1916, but they didn't have the same name back then. After reviewing another physicist's solution to the equations in Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity, Austrian physicist Ludwig Flam realized another solution was possible. He described a white hole, a theoretical time reversal of a black hole. At the event horizon is a region that emits light and particles rather than captures them. Entrances to black and white holes can be connected by a space-time conduit. Einstein and physicist Nathan Rosen expanded space-time theory in 1935 with the proposal of bridges to connect distant points. Wormholes are bridges that connect different points in space and time. They should theoretically be able to make long journeys shorter, make distances shorter, and as a result be faster than any form of travel we use now. The whole thing is very hypothetical at this point, said Stephen Hsu, a professor of theoretical physics at the University of Oregon. No one thinks we're going to find a wormhole anytime soon. Wormholes have a pair of openings with a long throat connecting them. The hole's opening could rotate into different shapes, such as spheres or cubes. The path of the throat is unpredictable, which means it may be longer than expected. Even though Einstein's theory of general relativity mathematically predicts the existence of wormholes, no wormholes have been discovered yet. A negative mass wormhole might be seen if it has an effect on the light that passes by its points. Even though Einstein's theory of general relativity mathematically predicts the existence of wormholes, no wormholes have been discovered yet. A negative mass wormhole might be seen if it has an effect on the light that passes by its points. There are some solutions of general relativity that allow for the existence of wormholes, with each mouth being a black hole. However, a naturally occurring black hole, formed by the collapse of a dying star, on its own will not create a wormhole. There are some solutions of general relativity that allow for the existence of wormholes, with each mouth being a black hole. However, a naturally occurring black hole, formed by the collapse of a dying star, on its own, will not create a wormhole. Science fiction is filled with stories about traveling through wormholes. Yet, the reality of such travel is more complicated, and not just because we haven't found one yet. The first problem is size. Primordial wormholes are predicted to exist on microscopic levels, about 10 to 33 centimeters. However, as the universe expands, they may have been stretched to grow and become huge. Science fiction is filled with stories about traveling through wormholes. Yet, the reality of such travel is more complicated, and not just because we haven't found one yet. The universe began expanding immediately after the Big Bang. Another drawback is stability. Predicted wormholes, like those spoken of in Einstein-Rosen models, are unstable and would be useless for travel. The first problem is size. Primordial wormholes are predicted to exist on microscopic levels, about 10 to 33 centimeters. However, as the universe expands, they may have been stretched to grow and become huge. You would need some very peculiar type of matter to stabilize a wormhole, and it's not clear whether such matter exists in the universe. The universe began expanding immediately after the Big Bang. But more recent research found that a wormhole containing exotic matter could stay open and unchanging for longer periods of time. Another drawback is stability. Predicted wormholes like those spoken of in Einstein-Rosen models are unstable and would be useless for travel. You would need some very peculiar type of matter to stabilize a wormhole, and it's not clear whether such matter exists in the universe. But more recent research found that a wormhole containing exotic matter could stay open and unchanging for longer periods of time. Exotic matter, which should not be confused with dark matter or antimatter, has been seen in the behavior of certain vacuum states as part of quantum field theory. Such matter contains negative energy density and a high negative pressure. If a wormhole has enough of the necessary exotic matter, 
it could be used to carry information or travelers through space. Sadly, we just don't have any wormholes big enough for human passengers at the moment. But it looks like it's not possible for humans to go through wormholes that we know of, which is unfortunate. But there aren't many indications to the contrary from a scientific standpoint. Some scientists have theorized that wormholes not only connect two different regions of space, but can link two entirely different universes. Similarly, if a specific type of movement is applied on one mouth of the wormhole, it could theoretically create a connection between two unconnected regions of space. Wormhole time travel isn't easy, but efforts are underway. Traveling through a wormhole to the future or past would require an unimaginable amount of energy. Stephen Hawking, the British cosmologist, has strongly opposed the use of wormholes. A wormhole is not really a means of going back in time. It's a shortcut, so that something that was far away is much closer. Adding exotic matter to a wormhole could stabilize it and make it travel safe for humans. But there's still a chance that adding regular matter will destabilize the wormhole. Today's technology can't expand or stabilize wormholes. Those scientists keep trying to explore the idea of using wormholes as a way to make space travel possible. It don't seem likely to ever be reached by humans. Thanks for watching Space Plug, and if you want to see more content like this, make sure you like it.